Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create a D flip flop through VHDL. So today, first we're going to define the library. Use the library IEEE, -E -E, then use IEEE.scd -E -E underscore logic underscore 1164 dot all. Then entity the test one, which is what I named my file, is port D comma E. E will pretty much enable Q to follow D. If E is up, Q follows D. If E is down, Q will remain where it is until E is up again. SCD underscore logic semicolon Q out SCD underscore logic and parenthesis and then we end the test one. Now architecture arc of the test one is begin. Now we process D comma E begin again. Now we begin an if then statement. So if E equals one, then Q less than or equal to D. Then we will end the if statement and the process and then finally end the arc. Next, all we would have to do is just compile it. Now create a new waveform file while we're waiting. We're going to go ahead and set the end time to this to 16 microseconds. And then edit the grid size to be 1 microsecond. And there we go. And now all we have to do is just wait for this to finish up. And if you wanted to, you can create a block out of this. All you would have to do is just assign inputs and outputs to the pins that would be in here but as you can see this is all done and set up so now all we would have to do is insert node or bus go to node finder list send all of them there click OK and now Q will follow D whenever E is high so say E is high right here then Q will be 0 pretty much if D is 0 so if but if I were to do this Q would follow D now first I'm going to show you what happens when you go back down with D and then I will show you what would happen if you go up with D. So we'll put something right there. And now D will go up. 
and I'll even show you with D down it won't even matter and then we'll just add some random stuff over here Alright, so now all we'll do is just run the simulation. And the simulation shouldn't take that long. And there we go. So now as you can see, Q follows D whenever E is up. So it'll mimic its pattern. If once E goes down, it does not follow D. See, as even D goes high here, this stays low. But now watch what happens when E is back up. So this is now following D again. And notice how it stays up rather than go back down. That is because Q will remain where it is if E were to go back down. Q would not equal zero. You could define that in your VHDL, but this is a better way to do it. So even as E comes back up over here, it's following D again, watch it go back down. And even as D is up right here, Q will just remain low right here. Thank you all so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe.